Now we have our lead vocal in place, and I'm still concentrating on this middle section here for this tutorial, there are a couple of other techniques to use to help make it sparkle some more. Uh, I'll just zoom out so my locators fit the screen here. So, to remind you, this is our vocal line completely dry in terms of reverb and delay effects, although nicely multiband compressed to limit the dynamic range. OK, I'll click play. Google search my Facebook, log YouTube, invading my space details I viewed. Tracing, selling secrets, life is great in my surveillance state. OK. What I'm going to do first is use this vocal line to create a harmony for itself. I could use the Pitch Correct plugin that I've got set up and dial in some adjustments. Let's play it through again to let it pull in the tuning a little. Google search my Facebook, log YouTube, invading my space details I viewed. Tracing, selling secrets, life is great in my surveillance state. What I could do is adjust pitch correct to force it to create a direct harmony of a vocal here, but an octave higher. So I'll just use this slider to move the tuning up 12 semitones, or in other words, an octave. This will sound fairly odd in isolation, but might play back OK buried in the mix with the main vocal more prominent. You can explore presets here to see if any are suitable for you. Let's hear it an octave higher. Notice the orange trails on the keyboard are the original vocal, with the harmony indicated in blue. Google search my Facebook, log YouTube, invading my space details I viewed. Tracing, selling secrets, life is great in my surveillance state. Well, that's all well and good, but what I want to do is just use the beginning phrase of the vocal section and manually adjust it in Vary Audio to create another harmony rather than just an octave higher. So I'll unload Pitch Correct because I don't want to use it now. And I'll duplicate this vocal by exporting it to a new file. Right, let's move things around a little so we can see. I only want to use this opening phrase, so I'll cut and delete the remainder. I'll just play it back to check it's the part I need. Google search my Facebook. Yes, good. Now, when I open my sample editor and click on the Vary Audio tab, I can process it to analyse the notes. Now, I want to adjust these notes to only sing G-sharp and F-sharp, because I know this will harmonise with the vocal over the chord structure of E major and F-sharp minor at the start of the song, well, at the start of this middle section, rather. OK, I'll play it back now in the Arrange page. It's a harmony below the original vocal, so we'll add a little weight and depth to the opening phrase. I'll close the sample editor, now I'll adjust the levels so we can hear it blended with the original vocal. Google search my Facebook, log YouTube. Good, sounds OK, but let me try it an octave higher. So I'll open the sample editor and move the notes up an octave. I'll highlight the notes and drag them up to G sharp at the top here. Um, so that should be an octave higher. Well, it is an octave higher. OK, now I'll close the editor and play back in isolation. Google search my Facebook. Now with the original. Google search my Facebook, log YouTube. I prefer that. Now I'll play it with the mix. I'll just adjust the volumes again. Now play. Google search my Facebook, log YouTube. Get in there. I think I'll delay the harmony a little by dragging this slider to the right a touch. This will give it a more loose feel. Hmm, it's a bit fiddly. 
I'll just type in a positive number to delay it by that much. That'll be easier. Now, play. Google search my Facebook, look YouTube. Invading my space, details I viewed. OK. To save processing power, it's good to delete any silent areas on a track. I could drag the start of a file, like this, and ordinarily would do for a short file, but I'll show you the Detect Silence function on the original vocal to automatically delete empty areas. Go to Audio, Advanced, Detect Silence to open this dialog box. I'll just adjust these available parameters. Now if this Detect Silence function is new to you, can I refer you to VTC's previous Cubase tutorial on version 4 where there is more detail available? OK. I'll assume it's familiar to you, so I'll quickly adjust things whilst I'm talking to get it silencing only what's required. Now I know I've not saved an awful lot here, but over a full length song it's quite considerable. So, as you can see, using a variety of techniques with the vocal, you can adjust things to make what you've already recorded as what you thought was your main vocal a little bit more polished. Clearly, you could record these harmonies, it would make more sense and it would be more natural sounding, but imagine the singer who's on the particular song has left the studio and for whatever reasons can't get back into the studio, Vary Audio, or indeed if you use Melodyne or even Auto-Tune, does help you clean up recordings, gives you harmonies, makes it a more polished, sheened, perfect vocal file.